G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just got a Ford Explorer in today, early 2004 model that's coming for a crank no start. So stick with us and I'll show you what we found. So this vehicle got towed into us. It's coming for a crank no start. Obviously we confirmed the complaint, I'll crank the vehicle and nothing's happening. So, you know, you check the basics, spark, fuel, compression. We checked for spark and it had great spark. So next thing is checking for fuel. We had fuel pressure, injector operation, that sort of thing. But we obviously just wanted to make sure with a little bit of carby cleaner through the intake and um, it didn't make a difference. But what we did notice is that when we had our hand in that area, in the middle of the manifold, we could feel that the uh, air was pushing back towards us. So that was an indication there was something going wrong with the engine inside. So what we did is we ended up putting our in-cylinder pressure transducer on with the screen behind us, as you can see here, and I'll just get you up to the screen and I'll, I'll show you what we found. So for those that aren't really familiar with the in-cylinder pressure waveforms, this isn't, you know, we're not gonna delve too far into this because it's a little bit more time consuming to explain this really well. But what we wanna look at, basically what we're looking at is we're looking at the four strokes of one particular firing cycle. So I've partitioned them out and what we can see at the top here is we've got our cranking compression. Down the bottom here, we've got our exhaust valve opening, we've got our intake valve opening, we've, we can see our compression rising. So we can basically check timing or some sort of form of timing from this diagram. But at the end of the day, our main concern, the thing that we can spot the, the easiest is our exhaust plateau. There should be no back pressure cranking. And what you can see here is we've got 0.26 of a bar. Um, and that equates to about 3.6 PSI. So we should have you know, absolutely no exhaust back pressure when we're cranking at, at this sort of RPM level. And that you know, was enough for us to say, well, you know, we must have a blockage on the exhaust. So we just pulled the oxygen sensors out and the vehicle started straight away. So simple test, it was easy to get uh, one of the plugs out, throw this in there, and we can get quite a bit of information from this, like I said already, cranking compression, valve events and obviously exhaust back pressure. So, you know, this very interesting test and we're able to diagnose this, you know, fairly quickly. So as you can see, guys, it's a, it's a relatively simple test, but there's a lot of things you can get from it. And, you know, it's relatively inexpensive for the value that you can get and the time you can save on certain tests. So hopefully if that sparks a bit of interest for you, you guys can look for one. Pico's not the only one that does it. There's a few, few out there anyway. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.